an insulin room. Now there's a difference. One Google. of them doesn't open. Okay, Google. Your phone's ignoring you. Okay, Google.
there's no blackout dates. Use it wherever you want, and it's super easy. So when we travel, we put our hotels on it, we put our rental cars on it, we put everything on it. And then the way it works is when you go to pay your bill, you've got a list of everything that's on your bill, and you just go in there and erase, 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 erase with points. You pay with your points. Um, so there's not a whole lot of um, transferring and thinking and planning other than making sure you have enough points to do that before you take your trip. In addition to that, we are always looking for ways that we can build mileage points with our preferred airline, which at the moment is American Airlines. So what we do is um, we still are shopping with that same venture card. Now you could get an American Airlines credit card and get their bonus miles, which is sometimes 40, 50, 60,000 miles, which is enough usually for two round trip tickets. We haven't done that only because we don't need to do that right now to travel, but it's in the back of my mind in case we ever do. What we do do is we use our venture card still the same way I was just describing, but are you laughing that I just said doo-doo? <laughs> Calm down, Joey. Seriously. Gosh, you're not old enough to drive this truck. This is a grown-up truck. Get a hold of yourself. I did say that. And it was Chandler. It was Chandler. You're right. My bad. Okay. Anywho, um, I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, our mileage. So, to get our American Airlines points, what we do is we go to AA Advantage E Shopping.com, right? Because AA for American Airlines, Advantage E Shopping.com. And they have a list of partners on there. So, let's say I'm sending my sister flowers because she's awesome. I'm going to go to that Advantage eShopping.com site. I'm going to click through to FTD Florist, and I'm going to make my purchase like I would any other time. It's literally one extra step. Miles per dollar spent. That banks into my American Airlines account. I'm going to pay for it with my venture card, so I'm getting my two points per dollar spent in my purchase eraser, and I'm doubling up on that, and my sister gets the same flowers I would have got with no points anyway. If I have time to click through and get some stuff from Home Depot and get my points, that's what I'm doing. Um, it's that important to me. Our travel is that important to me. And I need to get creative in how we do that because we don't have a lot of money. Um, but we do have a lot of resourcefulness and things that we can do to make it affordable. And that's why we're sharing this stuff with you guys. Um, you know, you need to get out. You need to travel. You need to take the trip now. Basically getting paid to pay your bills. Yeah, pretty much. And spend your money. Right. You know, if you're going to spend the money anyway to go put gas in your car, don't put it on your debit card. Get some points. Put it on the venture card. Pay that card in full every month. You're building your credit because that's great credit history. You're getting your points and you're simplifying your life. It's, it's one payment option, right? Everything's right there for tax time. Everything's detailed in one spot. Um, so anyway, that's enough rambling about that, but that's what I've been doing with the RV stuff. We looked at Sunny's when we were trailer shopping a while back, so we knew we had them, so we called to see if they had them. We checked Camper World. They did not have them. And KYD does not have them on their Amazon page, so we are headed to Sunny's right now. In addition to that, we need to get hoses. We need to get some other stuff for the RV, so I've also checked the different pages and things like that. Um, Outdoor World has the rhino hoses that we like and that we can click through from americaneshopping.com and get five points per dollar spent and i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to double up so if i spend 40 bucks i'm going to get 200 miles with american right and then i'm going to get 80 points on my venture card or i could just run down to bass pro shops and buy them over the counter but i'm not getting any points why would i do that especially with free shipping and i don't need them today so some people want instant gratification. They need it right then. They need to go. That's me. That's fine. But if we're not going to use them today and they're not in short supply, like the leveling chalks that we're going to get, then I'm fine getting my points, getting my miles, and getting it shipped to me for free. That's teaching me some patience.
You guys want Ride Baby Ride stuff? Some Mark and Amy Michelle merch? Let me know. We will get that done. I think that it's important to not get so excited about your new rig that you go to the first place that sells stuff and just load up. You can drop a thousand dollars in five minutes, you know, getting stuff. Make a list of what you need, really need. Uh, make a list of stuff that you want that would be cool to have. And then do a little bit of homework, you know, figure out. Maybe Walmart is the best place to get everything. Maybe Camping World has stuff cheaper. When we were at Camping World, Mark wanted to get stuff and I was just adamant that we were not getting anything. The thing that I always do, and this is just my thing, I take pictures. So if I see that the water hose is 30 bucks and we're at Camping World and Mark's grabbing it off the shelf to buy it, I'm gonna nicely put it back and say, wait, we don't need the water hose right now. Take a picture of it for 30 like bucks. A kid in a candy store. A little bit, but I don't smack your hand often. <laughs> Sometimes I have to. But then we went to Walmart, right? Yep. And Walmart had it for $19. So right there, it's like, okay, better deal. You know, one of the things when you go in to a place and an RV dealer, they're gonna send, or they're gonna sell you on this, well, whatever you buy, because they're, they're not gonna give you everything you need to go with your rig. No. Not, not the hoses, not anything. And uh, so what they do offer is a 15% off of everything they have stock. <laughs> so. But you better get it that day, right? But it doesn't matter. That 15% Do was not even close to the price that we could have, could have got it at Walmart. But right. still, with 15% off, it would have been a lot cheaper than Walmart. Or, right. and, or online. You never know. Right. Amazon's got great deals. So we don't have an Amazon channel yet. As much as I don't like to shop around, yeah. it really does benefit. Right. Okay, so went to Sunny's to get our Anderson leveling chocks, and they only had one. We did not only have the one tire. Ended up with one tire. Not gonna work. So while we were there, I Googled it. And Walmart has them for the exact same price and in stock and we can get four. So that is probably what we will do. So on the way here, we're talking about doing your homework and you know, not just getting the first thing. And uh, so really important to do. I got pretty excited that Sunny's had them in stock. We ran out the door to get them because we had errands to run anyway. Did not buy anything at Sunny's. Did see Tom, our favorite sales guy there. Got to say hi to him and tell him we pulled the trigger on a rig and got an Airstream. He's pretty happy for us, so that's always nice. And uh, did some shopping though, took some pictures of some stuff. The uh, surge protector, and some gas lines. Surge protector's a little pricey. It's a 30 amp. 30 amp. That's what we have. It's a 30 amp. Okay, but Pick that's up. 240. The other one was 405? 10? Yeah. I don't know what the difference is. We need one. This one is 405. That's cheaper than that at Camping World. We're going to check online. Check. We'll shop that out. I did take pictures of the surge protector at Camping World for comparison's sake, and then we will check um, KYD's Amazon page to see if they've got one. You need to check if they have the uh, Rhino fittings as well, the clear fittings. The clear fittings, okay. The one with the, um, the water hose attachment so yep. you can clean out your tank. Yeah, I checked that too. So Mark found the attachment that he wanted for the sewer line there. Um, and what was it, 35 bucks, I think? 26 here. 26 here at the camping center where you buy your campers. And so real quick, I just Googled it and Amazon had it for $14.99. So we didn't buy that there either. Yeah. So it just goes to show what we're talking about, how if they're saying they'll give you 15% off anything you buy from buying a uh, rig with them, it's still not that great a deal. It's still overpriced. You're still gonna overpay for your, for your items. And not necessarily shopping. every item. We're not trying to say that every, every item, item they sell is overpriced. But the two that we just looked at were were very overpriced. So, but the, the leveling chocks were the same price. Yep, yeah, they were exact same price. So if they were there and in stock, We'd we would have just bought them from there. Yeah. You know, because um, that would have made more sense. But they only had one, and that doesn't make sense. So you just kind of have to be smart and not in a shopping frenzy because you're so excited about. We are heading to Camping World. Yeah, we need to see if they have a water, uh, filter, water filter hose. Because we have the filters. 
which were considerably less at Walmart than they were at Camping World, but they did not have the actual fitting. The attachment. Right, yeah. the attachment. And neither did KYD. Right. They didn't have those on their Amazon page either. Sorry guys, we're trying. Do your homework. Don't buy at the first place that you go to. And um, get the best food you can, you know? The more money you don't spend, the more money you have to play with and travel with and have fun with. So, that's all.